And well, joining us now, Waleed Fair, who's a Fox News national security analyst, also former foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign. Waleed, uh, uh, any other way to read into this? Uh, it's just amazing, magnificent news. All these words are exactly what they are. This is an amazing humanitarian news. But it's also a part of a diplomatic success, peace after peace after peace. But also it means that the North Korean regime, to release the hostages that way, they're really messaging not just the government, the administration and Congress, but the American public. They're trying to look better ahead of the summit to come. And, and so what can we glean from that? Because, you know, doubters, naysayers and, and skeptics all continue to say, hey, we've seen this before. We, uh, this is from the playbook of Kim Jong-un's grandfather and his dad. And they've done things and they've made promises and they've always at the end of the day broken them. Yes, but there are things that are very different. The China today with whom uh, with which uh, the president, President Trump is uh, dealing with and because of which we have the situation right now is very different. It's not the China of the Cold War. It's the China that does business. We have issues with them, but they are a real force that is putting pressure on the North. Second, it seems that there is an assessment now in Pyongyang that they want to save the regime and they want to do business. They are suffocating economically. So three hostages they will give. They will give even better pictures when the summit will happen. The, the initial word was uh, that perhaps Kim, Kim Jong-un would give up, uh, you know, his nuclear ambitions, denuclearize if, uh, in, in return for, among other things, a guarantee uh, that there would not be any sort of military intervention. Is that something that's plausible? Not just plausible. I think this is the essence of the issue. It seems to me that when uh, On went to China and met with the leadership, the central issue was, look, the Chinese told them, we cannot back you against the international community at this point in time. You are isolated, so you'd better start to change and become like us. I mean, North Korea should become like China. We're not asking you to change your regime. You will continue with the communist regime, but you will be much more open. I think this was the base of the agreement. And there's an, uh, a guarantee that we're not going to take action. We have never taken action against North Korea unless when we mobilize, when they were shooting those missiles into the ocean. Right. So we can de-escalate. Escalate. Uh, next one for you, Waleed. The, the president pulls out of the Iranian nuclear deal. Do you think this is the right call? It is the absolute right call. But, you know, today, my thinking is, what is the next step? We cannot just withdraw and keep it that way. We need to be on the offensive diplomatically, politically, economically with all the partners. We need to sit down with the Europeans and tell them, look, you want to do business with Iran, you will lose a lot of opportunities in the Middle East. And now we have new friends in the Middle East. We have this huge Arab coalition and the Gulf. It's very interesting for the Europeans as well. We need to play every card we have. 